Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God. Last episode we talked about how we know that God is the ultimate good. Today, is anything but God necessarily good? We've talked in the past about God's necessary existence and how he is the ultimate source of all good. From this it follows that God is necessarily good. What this means is that God is good because he can't logically be otherwise. So the question is, is there anything else that's good in the same way, because it can't logically be otherwise? In order for something to be good by logical necessity, it would need to have everything that is needed in order to make it good. So what kinds of things are needed to make something good? Well, in the first place it needs to exist, however that's not enough. A broken leg exists, and a broken leg isn't a good leg. So secondly, it also needs to have all the properties that a thing needs in order to perform its function perfectly. So we've got a leg that exists and is healthy and strong, but then what if somebody uses it to kick a harmless puppy? Is a leg being used to kick a puppy still good? Well, no. That leads us to the third thing you need for true goodness. In order for something to be truly good, it's also got to be used to attain some good function. Walking, or running, or kneeling, or even resting are all good things for a leg to do. When something has all three of these things, it's good. A fire, for example, is good because it exists, has light and heat, and is providing warmth in its vicinity, but without raging out of control. One, two, three. So we know by this method that lots of things are good. However, are any of them good because it's logically impossible for them to lack any of these three things? No. A tree may have existence, be tall, strong, produce oxygen, etc., but a lot of these things can logically be taken from it. Its height and strength can be removed by a logger, as can its ability to produce oxygen. Even its existence can be removed if the tree is burned up. No created thing is good because it can't be otherwise. If it were, it would have always existed and wouldn't have needed to be created. Next time... Does the goodness of created things come from God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.